Okay, Lou Depot back here again with a little more math. Now we're going to find out the head loss in that, that zone. Now we did the gallons per minute, the flow rate. We found out it's 2.7. And to do the head loss, you simply measure all the copper pipe in the zone. From the circulator all the way around, through that 45 foot of baseboard we talked about, including the elements, and back down to the boiler again. So we're going to say it's 80 feet. Just for math lesson purposes. Okay, you're going to take that 80 foot, that's called the total developed length, TDL, 80 foot of copper pipe and element all together. And you're going to times it by 1.5. And that's easy enough to do in your head, too. 1 times 80 is 80, 0.5 is half of 80, and that's 40. So 80 and 40 is 120. Then you're going to take 120 and times it by 0.04. And that reason is to deduct for all the elbows and turns and everything else in the head loss. And you're going to times that by 0.04. I'm going to move this a little bit. Remember our 2.7. 120 times 0.04 will give you 4.8. That's the head loss number you need. So now you have it. You figured out your head loss for that zone. You figured out your gallons per minute for that zone, 2.7. Now with those two numbers, you can go to the chart. But what you're looking for is a circulator pump that can handle pumping 2.7 gallons per minute through the pipe and still overcome a head loss of 4.8. That's how it's done. That's how it's done for every zone. That's the math. That's how you... And then you can go to your chart. Oh, it's hard to see, but uh, let me see here. You can go to your chart and you can see 2.7, the flow gallons per minute is very, very close to the corner, and 4.8 is almost up to the 5. So we're right down in here, and you can see these pump curves. It don't have to land right on the curve, but you can see these are way out of sight. That would not work. A 003 would work. A 006 would work. Even a 00, a 008 is kind of high. That wouldn't work. A 005 and a 007 would definitely work. They're right in there. 007 is the main one. But um, just to give you an idea, wherever you land with that dot, it has to be a pump curve close to that. And that'll help you big time on selecting the proper pump for your zone of heat. And you can download that on, on Takeo.com's Teiko, um, pump curve chart is what it's called. I hope this helps you guys a lot in selecting the right pump because that's the math for it.